Hi everybody, welcome to John Creator. Today we are going to model a part 3 tutorial for the joystick. And today we are going to concentrate on the arrow keys buttons. And if you are very new to this channel, subscribe my channel. And if you are very 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 new to this 3D modeling, please see my older videos absolutely for beginners. Okay, I have already created this two tutorial for this before videos. Check it out. Now let's begin. So after opening the joysticks, so select the base and press 3 on the keyboard and select these four faces and press i and press 0.2 sorry i 0.5 sorry okay i scale this time correct i 0 0.1 0 enter oh oops it's not correct so I press I and insert it so this is better way to do it and I hope it's a uh, metric and it's under centimeter only but I don't know why uh, it's not okay it's another problem fine let's begin press shift D and right click okay after that I undo it press 1 on the keyboard and press alt shift 1 and make a triangle sorry I go to the edge selection select the vertices and press alt shift yes one and enter and yes to scale you can scale it up to this and select this and shift D to duplicate right click the cancel and press G Z and move towards up okay I just turn on the screen casting for this I missed out okay and this one is should be in right side right absolutely so okay 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 okay, okay. Oh, fine thank you for waiting so after this now press one on the keyboard and before that i got one more idea select this press i to insert and now one on the keyboard and press g z to move down So now we can view the some shape has been applied here. And G set to move. And press select these edges. Before that, I select this one. And make a bevel, control B. And select this. Press control B to bevel. And go to the face selection and press G Z to move the up like this sorry I undo it G Z to move like this and E to extrude and sorry E to extrude and Z axis and move like this so you can able to see some shape has been came for us and it looks cool and I go for this and GZ and yes to scale down and let's see oops it's not come correct for us okay we can fix that issues which is getting uh, not worked properly So I got one more idea. I press M and merge at center. I'm going to repeat the same. So let's see how it looks. Oops, not good. I just undo the both of the same and I select all the bottoms and this and press X to delete the vertices. Select this two, not okay. X to delete the vertices now what to do okay after doing this select everything bottom using your alt key and everything and e to exit in z axis and see how it looks okay fine again e to exit and z axis so now we got the shape now 
I select this bottom one X to delete the vertices. Select this and plus Control L and G Z to move towards the bottom. And go to the top view and scale it out like this. And let's see looks how it looks. Okay, fine. Now E to extend Z axis and select this edges and press Control B to bevel. Now we got some shape here and this select this and go to the top view and yes to scale down and gz to move little bit bottom okay still it doesn't look good so i do one thing here gz and go up and skeleton slightly up press ctrl r and create two edge loops here in between this And now we can able to see here is some bottom. Okay. Here still we face problem. So I go to the edge selection, select everything in bottom and need to exit in Z axis once again. So now it looks better. So this is the shape I have given for this keypad design. So this is going to work and uh, i'm going to select everything and go to the top view and scale it once again down and see the views okay and create one edge loops here to avoid that circle which is going beyond that just select this and dissolve that dissolve the just and now let's see it's better but only this thing has been become problem it has uh, touching the edges which is not required for us I do a thing I select everything and I have to scale down a little bit and see but still I face the more gaps here so I'm going to make it up and see okay Okay, just G Z and move here and I'm going to align this one correctly now select everything scale it in Z axis 0 and G Z to move down select this scale Z axis 0 and G Z to move down and see how it looks not bad and I got one more idea so let's try this one Okay, that if I do, if it, the shape doesn't come correctly. So this one, let it be here. I don't think I just M and budget center. Shift R to repeat the same. And let's see. Yeah, fine. Finally, we got some look here, uh, which is requirement here. Okay. Okay, I just uh, press Control L and Shift H to hide other things. So now G to move. Now G to move. G to move. G to move. Oh, I select this one. Alt using the Alt key. X to delete the vertices, not required. So I'm going to select this and E to extend Z axis. Now it looks the better look. Okay, now I'm going to repeat the same for this. Budget centers. Shift auto repeat, shift auto repeat. Okay, everything has been done. No, I missed it here. Okay, yam and budget center. Okay. 
okay fine it has been ready so this is the key shape i have made so i hope this will be very correct i'll touch on head everything and press control l and select this shape go to top view and scale it up okay and we can move it little bit upward also which will looks very fine for the operation okay so finally our keys has been ready as per our requirement and i'm going to do some shape for this go to edit mode and go to the front view or to rotate slightly like this way okay fine so our has been ready thank you for watching and if you're new to this channel subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and uh, we can go for the and, uh, preview also material preview so now our joystick has been ready with that key requirement thank you friends if you like the video share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel so which will give likes and subscribers will modify us to make more videos on this bye bye